guys, JDB Gaming here, and welcome back to another one of my classic Survive the Hunt videos. For this one, you can see we are doing it in the snow, so it's going to be a little different. As you can see, we've got one elf is trying to cake my car in snow. And for the snow one, as you can see, there's a lot of different, you know, exciting looking vehicles around. We are doing a no vehicle restriction episode, and the firing fight that is terrifying because those vehicles. This can actually blow something up, so, uh... <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god! What an exit, I've never had that exit before, so that's... Uh... <laughs> it's still going, it's freaking everyone out, including myself. Well, uh, that's not quite the intro I was planning, but, you know, you can never plan anything with hunts, um... They really... <laughs> <laughs> they never go to plan, it's still going on in the background, and um, anyway, yes, welcome to a Survive the Hunt. Before I go any further, I've forgotten to do it earlier, um, early in uh, previous hunts. Obviously, credit goes to Fail Race, a fellow YouTuber, who obviously came up with the idea originally, um, and I've just adapted the rules to make it my own version. So, you know, if you want to go and watch Survive the Hunt, you know, I'd recommend you go and watch Fail Race, because he's the original creator of this. However, I've adapted it to make it my own version, but, you know, like I said, credit goes to him. You're here to watch JDB Gamers Survive the Hunt, so uh, here we are. Now, you're probably thinking, well, they're all in special vehicles, and they're allowed those, because it's a no vehicle restriction episode we're doing. Well, what about yourself, Jacob? What, what are you going to be jumping into? Well, I've decided to do a little bit of a double bluff. I've been saying, as obviously I've been going into the parking area of the... Uh, uh, casino. Now this is the vehicle we're going to be using, we're going to be blending in, because if you haven't watched a No Vehicle Restriction episode already, I've already done one of these for number 10 special. Well, I've decided to do a little bit of a double bluff, because I have myself a Massacro here already. All ready to go. I've got a nice little bland colour, no sort of um, visual uh, what I'm looking for. I haven't done anything to it visually to make it stand out. Um, and uh, it was red, so I changed it to this sort of black colour, I think it is. I don't really know what it is. And, um, but I've done all the sort of upgrades to the engine, so I should be quite nippy when it comes to leaving. But I've left the stock wheels, I've done everything. I know you're probably thinking, well, you've got snow on your vehicle, why don't you want to go and change it? Well, if I was to go and repair it in the garage and then come out, I think about ten seconds later on I'd get snow again. So I might as well just leave the snow on the vehicle and uh, just hope that it doesn't get spotted straight away, basically. But because I've got... The, all the engine upgrades to it done and the boost, not the boost, the turbo on it, I should be relatively quick. Now, I've obviously got a two hour head start, they get going at four o'clock, so before we, you know, get too far into the episode and you don't know what's going on, we are using the whole city map today, no restrictions on the playing area, but speaking of the playing area, the dots, uh, the cars dotted around, we've got nine of them today, and you can see where they are located now. So we've got one by the Vespucci Canals, then we've got one by the La Puerta Docks, then a golf course car park, that's just a common one for us now. Then La Mesa area, we've got one by Simeon's, you know, garage where, you know, sometimes there is a mission. We've got one on top of Los Santos Customs, uh, then Grove Street, uh, which has caused me pain in a previous hunt, but I won't say any more, because if you haven't seen Survive the Hunts of my channel already, then I would go ahead and recommend watching one of the previous ones, because this is going to be Survive the Hunts number 18. So we've uh, really cracked on and done a few, haven't we? But uh, anyway, that's enough of uh, self-promotion. Then we've got one by the Casino Car Park, and the last one is the Cypress Flats, um up from the ammunition so towards the bottom side of the map and the cyber class it's where it's the first area you sort of enter when you leave the docks essentially so that's everything we've got to think about now i've also got written down on my pads that 4 p.m is when they get released and that's the end time because uh you know sometimes i forget and sometimes i create myself so i've got it written down so i don't forget and uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we've got a couple of seconds of real time and a couple of minutes of in-game in GTA time before the hunters get released. Now they don't have a chopper today, and you you know didn't see one that's there at all or hear one buzzing around. Now the main reason for that is, as you can tell, you can't see absolutely you can see nothing. You can't see a dime in this weather. So, oh, that splodge of snow on the side of my car is really gonna. That's not going to be pleasant, is it? Oh, I've also realised I haven't changed my style. What am I doing? I need to change my style. Blimey. Let me just quickly find a little car park and change my style. I'm completely oblivious to the world. I haven't even changed my style yet. Quickly. Are we going to go? Oh, I haven't even changed my haircut either. Oh, that's awkward. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I forgot to go to the hairdressers. Oh, I'm having a bit of a mare. Because I have, because I worry about obviously every other rule that or placements. I forget that I need to go and change my hair. Well, that's a bit awkward. Uh, I'm trying to think where there's a hairdresser. I'm going to turn right because he's creeping up on me. If I can go to hairdressers, I don't even know if there's a hairdressers along here. I think okay, docks is probably the best place to go because I know there's one by the docks. So. No, the docks, the Vespucci beach area, so that is where we're going to aim for. And uh, this is going to be a first, isn't it, for a Survive the Hunt going to a hairdresser's mid, you know, Hunters being released, and that's technically still green, so we're going to go. And, uh, <laughs> get my hair cut, because I can't remember where the other ones are, and obviously we've got no map. The whole idea of the Survive the Hunt is you have no maps on, so you can't initially tell when who someone is, so... Uh, that's why we've got no map on. Um... And no overhead display names either. Now the vehicles I've got to blow up as well. I've got a mixture of some personal vehicles and some CEO vehicles. Um, the reason why we try to avoid Pegasus is because there's a bit of a delay when it comes to blowing up their vehicles. So that's why we've avoided Pegasus and we've just gone with um, CEO. Because we did a little bit of an experiment and found that with CEO it's a bit more reliable when it comes to notifying people when it gets exploded. Like a car gets exploded. So that's why we've we've gone with that. Now, I'm just going to follow that car, but turn left. Uh, and we're going to just follow in behind this car. And going to carry on. Now, obviously, with a no vehicle restrictions episode, what that basically means is my hunters and myself are allowed to use any vehicle we like, including a customizable vehicle. Now, like I touched upon earlier, I've already done one of these. Um, survived hunt number 10. Um, and it went down really, really well. It was great fun. And, uh, you know, if you haven't watched it already, I would go ahead and watch it. And basically, the reason why I did a double bluff, why I was on about double bluff, is for that one in particular, what I did is I started off in a vehicle and I stayed in it for a little bit longer than the hunters were, in, were anticipating. And that's because whilst it's no vehicle restrictions for them, doesn't mean I'm not restricting myself. So that's why I went for just something normal because I thought, well, they're probably going to assume I'm going to go in another th in something else like that. And the car I was in was you know, had neon lighting, so it was, it was really obvious. Now, I don't want to go into much further details in case you haven't watched it and you're watching this one for the first time, we want to go back and watch that one. So I won't spoil any further. But, um... Yeah, so that's that's the reason why I started off in the Karen Futo. It made them think that I was, wasn't in one, and then obviously this one I had parks and stashed away. And, uh... And then obviously hopped into... Hopped into it. Why? It's green. It's actually... Uh, the other thing I also, you know, whilst I hear the cops going off, is normally what I do is I get into a stolen vehicle. Well, a vehicle where I steal off someone, and I have to worry about the cops going on to me randomly or something. Whereas, obviously, with my own personal vehicle, I don't have to worry about the cops, because uh, the cops are... Well, I'm not in a stolen vehicle, so they would have no reason to sort of come after me. So, that's a that's a plus side for being in a my own personal vehicle. Now, regarding this vehicle, I'm going to try and stay in this vehicle for as long as I can. Now, I could abuse it and think, well, couldn't you just, if you get spotted, despawn it and just spawn another one of your personalised vehicles? No, because we've got the rule in place for the um, hunters that if their vehicle gets trashed or anything and they don't want to use it anymore, or if it's slow or something or whatever etc etc they can't just spawn in a different one they've got to stay in that vehicle so for instance one of them two of them have actually chosen uh, monster trucks so if their monster truck gets damaged and don't, or they don't want to use it anymore they've got to stick with it they can't just you know uh, despawn it and choose something else now whilst that chopper is there I'm actually going to go nowhere near it because I know they've been released at four but there's a two hour slot after they've been released when I can then start blowing them up and that'll be at six o'clock. Now the time is six so I am in that slot of being able to blow them up but um, I'm not going to start doing it. Now oh, there's the hairdressers, it's on my left. Now, this is a car park, so I'm going to see if I can just quickly... I'm going to see if I can quickly just uh, walk around and see, hopefully they... I don't know why there's a chopper there. I'm a little bit curious by the chopper, but I'd be surprised if they were choosing a chopper. Because obviously... You can't see anything in the sky, so I'm assuming it's just like a police chopper. Now, if I can just... There you go. I'm going to dip into the uh, barbers. And we're going to get a makeover. See, now this is all planned out. Now, if we can just get in quickly change my haircut, because the 
I don't think they anticipate this to be honest. I mean I wouldn't anticipate this either. Uh yeah, let's just have something nice and simple. I mean I forgot to change the colour, but you know pff, neither here nor there really is it. Um we're gonna have my guy, if it there we go, spawns in. We're gonna have him clean shaven if I can get to it. Maybe a bit of light stubble. We'll have a bit of light stubble instead. How about that? So there we go. And it doesn't sound like the chopper is there anymore. Perfect. Now I've changed my style. Perfect. Now we can get up from the seat and we can worry about surviving again. So uh, even though I had that two hour head start, I did not utilise it at all because I was so worried about what I was talking about. The chopper is still there. What is going on? Okay, we're all good, because they're not going to have anticipated that move, so... I'm just so vulnerable on foot, that I just... I mean, there's an explosion. They're definitely going to think that's me, this is the problem, when they hear an explosion like that. But obviously it's nothing to do with me, I don't know what is going on with the cops. So... Well, they've got their lights on, so I better have my lights on as well. See, now that's what I want to see. That is an exemplar. And an exemplar is basically like a another version of a, a massacre. It's just like, a, a, it's not like they're identical, same car. It's like a different version. But if those are spawning in, hunters might see this and think, oh, it's an exemplar, and ignore it. That is the reasoning behind why I chose the massacre. There is method behind my madness sometimes. And obviously I've gone for an obsolete colour because then it won't stand out. If I was in red, red is always going to get checked out. And there is another one right there. And it's looking like it's a, a dark coloured car like mine. What is going on? Wow. That is a... Now why won't my lights just stay on? I don't know. I'm a little bit curious by that. Because obviously everyone else has got their lights on. But I don't want my full beams up, because that's also a giveaway. But if I don't have them on, that's more of a giveaway. So that's a bit curious, but... Managed to get into a hairdresser's, changed my style. There's another one passing me by, as a white colour. Maybe I should have gone for white. Oh, white would have been a brilliant colour, because then snow wouldn't have shown up on it. I'm an idiot! Why didn't I think of that? Oh, I didn't. Zero brain cells over here. Whilst my thinking was well played to a sense, it wasn't quite the uh, big brain plays that I would have liked. It's sort of a half big brain, half smooth brain play, so... I mean, I don't think anyone's going to be following me over here, so I'm just going to oh, do a simple U-turn, because that's just going to a dead end, so... Stop, nothing's coming, and we're going to just merge in with traffic. So that's alright, we've just bought myself a little bit of time, and obviously I did that whilst there was sort some sort of shenanigans going on. And there you go, there's another exemplar behind me that's in a di uh, darker colour, so we're doing alright. Now I'm trying to think if there's any other rules I can sort of mention whilst we're going along with uh, one of these hunts. Because if this is your first time hunt, you know, you're going to want to know what's going on with uh, JDB Gaming Survive to Hunt. What are you doing? Oh, there's a hunter. Oh, has he seen the snow? He's probably seen the snow on the car. He's 100% seen the snow on the car. I mean, I'm not in a lane. Oh, <laughs> oh heart in the mouth moment there. He surely saw me run a red light. Surely he did. I mean, I know my hunters are used to sort of doing the, the play of making it look like they haven't seen me hanging off waiting for the rest of them to sort of join in. Why is that? I just don't know why there's a chopper hanging around. I really don't like I need to get out of this area. I really need to get out of this area. Because there's that. Yeah, he's seen me. Why would he turn left? There'd be no reason to turn left. There just wouldn't be. Just have your you have your tires pointing towards not left, right. 
towards my general direction and then speed off. Just why would you? I don't know what is going on down here, but some sort of shenanigans is going on. So I'm going to jump a red light. I just want to get out of here. I know it's a bit of dodgy driving. I should just stick to the roads, but I just... I Sometimes I can't hold my nerve. I think I'm alright too. Yeah, there you go. I have my full beams up. Now I've got them as the lower beams. I'm alright. Okay. Basically, what I was trying to do then is... I know I shouldn't have flipped my lights, and I th think that's a car up in front of me. I'm not too sure is basically what the cars do obviously is they hold their brake lights you can't do that in a car easily the way you have to do it is you have to apply a little bit on the gas and there's my first encounter with the ramp buggy but it's alright <laughs> it's not damaged the light so <laughs> I can carry on because obviously it's dark they won't see the damage so, so much I mean, what I might try and do is a sneaky manoeuvre is if I can find a pay and spray, I might go down to the one actually by the um, airport, because I don't think that will be an obvious one for them to go and check, is, and then repair it and spray it white. Now, obviously, there's no rules against me changing the colour. Uh, we haven't touched upon that, so it could be frowned upon, but, you know, it's there's, like I said, there's no written law saying no, so... I think I think I'll go and change the colour to white and see if that does the trick as well because like I said there is exemplar spawning so this massacre won't be out of place because it's almost identical to the exemplar but a few details to the car but essentially it just looks identi you know identical so that's why I've gone with this car. Now if I went for white that would have been even better but I didn't even think about you know white covering up the snow. Now also what's helping me is I have really cooked up with my road positioning but because the snow covers the road the hunters could not tell immediately that I actually wasn't on a proper road so that really has helped me I'm just trying to think of what car to go for I have done no plays for car cars being blown up now I've no, not done this before normally I get impatient and normally I just jump the gun and go for it but um, I'm playing this quite slow now an AI would normally get impatient and just sort of scooch past so that's not out of the normal and I don't think anyone's sort of watching it anyway, so that is fine by me. Oh, jeez, man. I mean, a few encounters there early on. No early ch no early chases either, so we've gone undetected, which has been fantastic. Um, so, yeah, other rules, obviously, we've got into place. Because, obviously, it's the snow. You've got to somehow let snowballs be used, can't you? But, obviously, we've got a rule in place as well where... You know, if you've got... I'm going to just sneak in here and hopefully no one anticipates this manoeuvre. So, um... I'm going to repair my vehicle. I'll just touch up on the snowballs in a second. Um, so, we're just going to repair the vehicle and we're just going to... Where is it? Respray. There we go. Uh, primary colour, classic. We're just going to go for a white. Frost white's too obvious. Uh... Let's see if I can just find a different white. Unless Frost White is the only one to go for. Uh, come on, where's just the whites? This silver. Okay, it's going to have to be Frost White, isn't it? Frost White it is. It'll at least cover up the snow a bit. Oh, yeah. It doesn't even stand out Frost White either. Perfect. Now we're all repaired. And the other big brain play about this is obviously the snow now won't show up. Okay, that was a bit of dodgy driving there. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Right, we've repaired the vehicle, got some white on us. I mean, yeah, there you go, there's some snow on us already, but it doesn't stand out as obvious because the white colour is perfectly hiding it. Now, what vehicle am I going to go to blow to go and blow up? We do have the one by, like I said, the one by Cypress Flats just up top from the ammunition over towards the bottom right-hand corner uh, by the docks area. I could go for that one. Uh, and then I'm trying to think of how I can sneakily get my way out of there. Uh, I could see if I could try and hit the highway and race race off quickly, or hit the highway and go up to casino maybe. Do a couple in a sort of a, in a row. In a sense, I could go for that. But otherwise, I don't. You know, there's no rush at the end of the day to do anything. Um, and it's going to get the hunters sort of querying what I'm doing because obviously, like I said, I've been able to blow them up since six o'clock. So. And it's uh, it's nearly 12, so that's going to be six hours past. So they're going to be wondering, what is he doing? 
Okay, you know, so I, I, I'm intrigued to know what they, they, they say. It's always nice sort of listening back when it comes to the say what happens, just to see obviously what the hunters are saying as I'm doing this. Um, that's why it's always good fun. So speaking of the so what happens, if you haven't watched the so what happened already, I would heavily recommend that you watch the Survive the Hunt and then watch its so, so what happens sort of counterpart afterwards. Because basically, what so uh, so what happens is, is we recap the main moments of a Survive the Hunt and then within those moments we see what the hunters were doing and saying at the time. So if we have a big chase, we get to listen to what the chasers are saying during that chase. So it's uh, it's just it's quite fascinating to listen to and watch. I mean, essentially, you watch the same gameplay you're watching now, but there's a map in the top right showing my position and the hunter's positioning as well. So that moment where we had a close moment by the hairdressers, obviously after I had my different haircut, they um, you'll be able to see what they were saying at that time and their road positioning. So it's uh, yeah, like I said, it's it's really interesting. So if you haven't watched So What Happened, I would heavily recommend you do because they're good fun. And uh, it's just nice to sort of listen to what the hunters have to say. Now this truck is really, really slowing everyone up. Now I'm just acting exactly like he does because in case anyone is sort of following in this <laughs> this line of traffic, um, then uh, they won't sort of... Because if I overtake him and someone was watching, they'd think that's a bit of a dodgy manoeuvre. Now, I'm assuming the hunters as well probably think I'm not going to be staying in the Futo. I mean, Futos are still spawning, Exemplars are still spawning, so we're it's fine. I mean, I'm in a region of the map where maybe Exemplars won't be, but if I can get onto the highway straight after I blow the vehicle up, then that will be a quick getaway, won't it? And then we can go up to the... Uh, what do you face? What do you call it? We can go up to the casino as well. Oh, whichever way he turns, I'm going to go the other way. That's all I'm saying. Because this gameplay... Oh, this is the uh, JDP Gaming side of the hunt gameplay we all anticipate, isn't it? <laughs> this would be perfect for a SpongeBob time card, wouldn't it be? Uh, Ten seconds later. And then one year later. And uh, and then it's the one where he goes, ugh. And then he's like, eventually, or whatever, whatever he says. I just get impatient. He's, you know, he picks up a bit of pace. It's like following someone. It was actually today I was driving. He was like following someone who goes on like so long a sixty road, and he decides to go sixty on some parts and then slow right down to thirty. It doesn't make any sense. That's what this. Oh, I should have turned left there. Okay, if he turns left here or right, whichever way, I'm going the opposite way. Let's put it like that. Oh, see, all those cars had the right idea. Why didn't I do that? God damn it, the AI is actually thinking for once, we don't want to be stuck behind this slow poke, so we're going to go elsewhere. There is one in Grove Street, however, because there's gang uh, gang members in the Grove Street area, I want to try and avoid that at all costs. You're going to go left, thank you. <sighs> How do I get towards... Uh, this is... Uh, I should have turned left, because then that would have been ideal for... Finding the... The one over in um, what's his face? The Cypress Flats place that I was on about. Ah, oh, really taking a massive detour. And here we are with the Grove Street one right in front of me, which will be. If I can have a look at my car, it's going to be a Trevor's truck. There, you can see it just down there. Except the gang members start shooting at you, so I'm just I'm just going to leave it be for the time being. I just I just don't want to have any trouble with them, and. Uh, you know, without spoiling, in case you haven't watched one, you know, this is your first hunt. You know, I've had previous troubles with gang members, let's just put it like that. So, I'm going to try and leave it for the time being. Um, I'm going to go elsewhere. Now, I'm intrigued to know what the hunters think I'm playing at, because obviously I've never played this slow before. It's nearly two o'clock in the morning, and I haven't touched a car yet. Now, obviously, the reason we have these cars in place is it gives them intel as to where I am, because when it comes to blowing them up, my rule of thumb is as long as I can see it, I can blow it up. Now, with me not blowing them up, it means they've got no immediate location on me. So, she plays in my favour, and you could go, well, why don't you just never blow them up? Well, at the end of the day, it gives you guys something to watch, you know, it's a bit more entertaining if I've got an objective to do, and I'm going to carry on straight. And it also adds a bit more risk to the play, doesn't it? Because otherwise I could, you know, if you're a good enough driver, which, you know, I certainly am not, you could literally just spend the whole time, you know, not... Um, undetected basically so with these cars in place it gives a more chance of the hunters coming into contact with you 
And obviously, my rule of thumb, as long as you can see it, is you can, um, as long as you can see, it, you can bow it up. Just it's put in place, just so I can't, you know, stick. I wouldn't, I wouldn't anyway. But like, throw a sticky on it and then drive away to the other half of the map. The whole reason of having cars like that is so you blow it up. So basically, you're in the region, so the hunters know where they're going because obviously they'll get a notification on their screen. Now there it is, just on our left. It's a helicopter. It is a buzzard attack chopper. Now the reason we got one of those in place is because it's a CEO vehicle. So it will notify them, not a Pegasus CEO. My throat is getting a little bit dry. Hopefully I don't cough. Oh, I've just realised I need to be in the left lane. Sorry, I'm going to jump lane. Some AIs do do it, so we can do it too. Now I'm just going to park my way over here. Now you're probably thinking, why am I doing that? I don't want to smash my window. There we go, lovely two throws. Now, I'm going to just do a quick U-turn around the block. I'm not going to blow it up just yet. I'm going to do a quick U-turn. Because what I want to do is I want to go past the turn left, and then obviously that's straight to the highway. So, and whilst we're doing that, we're going to call Leicester. So it's a bit of tactical placements here. Because we're going to sort of drive past it, and then come back on ourselves. So do a U-turn somewhere hey, along these lines. How can I help? So I've got to send a blind no eye. So we've got three minutes now to blow that vehicle up and then get out of the area. Well, basically blow it up and then the cops won't be on me. I mean, I can't really see it. It, it wouldn't be fair to me blow it up here, so I'm going to wait. Um, and I'm going to do a Yui because it looks like there's nothing around me. You can call me a moron AI, but it's not affected anyone me doing a Yui. And I don't think there's anyone around me either, so I think I've done a safe little Yui there. Now, my s plan of action is to... Oh, Sultans are spawning as well, so if I do get spotted, I can change out of this vehicle. My plan of action is to take a left turn here. Come on. Drive a little bit up this road, and then blow it up. So, you ready? We're all going to say it together. As long as I can see it, I can blow it up. So, quick little getaway. Now, we need to just have a little boost of action. So we need to get away from this area as quickly as possible so I can get up to the highway area and then jump on the highway so there we go quick little getaway and that is my first vehicle blown up so that is one of nine gone and we have got just over 12 hours left 12 and a half hours so a bit of a slow play I've never been this slow before but you know it's, it's tactical slow now I'm just trying to think of how I can get... I don't think that's going to take me where I want to, so I'm going to stay on this highway bit here. I think that's in the slow bit. Because I'm English, I don't can't get used to how motorways work, but I'm assuming that if it's on the inside line, the inside track of the motorway, or highway, or whatever, you can go fast, so... But these two are just... I mean, that, that Futo is massively tailgating, but we're just going to overtake on the outside because it's, you know, not a big deal at all. We're going to carry on, and like I said, Casino is my next target. Actually, they might predict that, mightn't they? Okay, my... Mm, nope, 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 going to go for it, going to go for it, going to go for it. We're going to risk it for a Chalky Biscuit, and we're going to go for the one with the Casino, because, you know, I've been a bit slow, so we need to sort of pick it up a bit, pick the pace up, so... At these lights, I'm going to turn... I'm just going to act like they're not red, to be honest. I'm just going to carry on. Oh, okay, that's fine. Actually, we can do this, we can do this. This is taking me back onto the highway. But it will take me past the casino, and then I'll just have to come back on myself. So, so it's, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Uh, just trying to think of how I blend in, because I don't want to blend in with the cars. Three lanes anyway, so we're all good. And I'm just going to stay in this lane... Just going to stay in this lane. Yes, I could go up that hill there to get to the casino. However, I want to stay undetected. And right now, I'm staying undetected. I've just realised, though, however, at the same time, that my... Oh, what are you doing? What is the AI doing there? It's a bit unnecessary. Blim here now, honestly. Oh, he hasn't scraped my car too much. And there you go, the snow's blending in a little bit. It's, it's not going to stand out as much if, as it was on my grey looking car. So white, a white sort of change of colour has done the trick in my opinion. And uh, we're going to turn right at these traffic lights. 
Oh, you've just gone straight. You shouldn't have gone straight, so I don't know what the AI is doing. Now, this is sort of that, that area there was the top region of the, the map, so we've got to now carry on and we've got to turn ourselves right. So I couldn't have gone straight because that's the outbounds area, basically. So we've got to carry on over towards this way. And we are going to. We're going to. Hmm. Um, it's, it's within the casino car park. It's like at the front. So I'm trying to think of my approach play for this. Because I want to be in and out nice and quick. Um, trying to think. How is my best approach play here? Um, now, if you heard a little bit of background noise during that uh, transition of play, that's because my kitties were being fed. So we had putting more biscuits out and the lizard trays were being cleared as well. So that will explain why there was a bit of background noise, you know. You know, I'm not that sort of YouTuber who's uh, got his own little place or room where he can have everything quiet so there's no background noise. Oh, pardon me, that came out of nowhere. No background noise. Seeing snow on that car though makes it good because it makes it, it make, means that other cars, AI cars, have snow on them as well. So that that fills me with a little bit of uh, happiness. Oh, shouldn't have flashed my reverse lights, but I think I'm safe. I haven't seen hunters in quite a while, which is good to know. Really good to know. Right, so we're going to turn left now. I need to turn left to go into the car park, uh, casino car park as well. So nothing behind me. It's just there, as you can see. It's just that vehicle there. So we're just gonna we're gonna pull in here. I'm gonna just park my vehicle here. Oh, that's a bit dodgy parking. And we're just gonna sit here just for a second, just so we can calm ourselves down. doing? What's that car doing? That's going to be a bit of an obvious pull out from the driveway, isn't it? Please don't say you noticed that. gonna do think I've been under I think I've been detected there so we're just gonna accelerate away oh he's really bullying me though isn't he come on now accelerate there we go get a bit of traction and now we lose him okay that's a bit unfortunate because oh it's really a bit unfortunate I just pulled out at the casino golf course I just didn't hold my nerve and uh, I should have stayed a little bit calmer, but I just couldn't hold my nerve, pulled out, and uh, he just obviously noticed it. Now, they're all going to be heading over to this way, so time to black out, no lights on. And uh, use my acceleration, the boost and everything I've got on my car. I mean, that's one of the objectives to blow up. But I'm going to have to leave it for the time being. And use my pace advantage, because whilst that SUV is blimming quick, I am obviously in a sports car. But that's it zoops up, but, you know... I say that, but when you've got that much pace advantage, come on, don't bump me, don't bump me, come on, get good, good traction, get good traction, good traction, oh, this is the only problem, I've got no traction, oh, so I've got to take every corner so gently, because if they don't, I mean, they're going to go flying past me, I've got to try and think of how I'm going to lose him now, oh, There we go, nicely done, nicely done, nicely done, nicely done. Don't tap me on the right, don't tap me on the right. You didn't, thank God. Oh, I wasn't looking behind me, but I was trying to make sure I was going to hit the car in front of me. There we go, okay, trying to think of how I'm going to lose him. Um, right now I'm struggling to think of that idea. Because, yeah, that car behind me is quick. Oh, he's just sticking with me, isn't he? Now, this is the thing with no vehicle restriction, is they, I can't lose them at all. So, and he, that car is just staying with me, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh no, it's because I couldn't make that corner in time, so... Okay, we're just going to go this way, actually. Bloody hell, we'll go with it, won't we? Ah, oh, this car has got no traction on the snow whatsoever. Oh, he's sticking with me. There's a few sticking with me. I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to lose them. Um, okay. Well, the undetected status is definitely gone, which is a shame. And we've done really well to keep that status for as long as we had. I'm on the other side of the road because obviously I spotted that monster truck. So I'm trying to avoid that monster truck. Now we're going to just zoom back in front of him. And just, there you go, stay on this side. He's keeping enough of a distance that obviously he can predict which way I'm going to go. Now we're going to break, 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 break. Go to the left hand side. Now what is the time? <gasps> 7.35. Okay, so... Oh, blimmin' out. It's right, we got it. We kept it. We kept it alive. We kept the dream alive. Kept the dream alive. Kept the dream alive. There we go. Kept it alive still. He really doesn't want to touch me, does he? That car There we go. Duke him out a little bit. Oh, there we go. There's another car coming into the chase. So he's starting to predict my movements here and uh, obviously get the other hunters to... Ooh. Block and everything. If I can just... Oh, no traction. Power slide there. There we go. Don't mind using the curb a bit. Ah, oh, he's still with me, the bugger. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can take this little jump here. Let's see if we can take this little jump there. There we go. Fake it out. Recover, recover, recover. There we go. I mean, this is the hard thing. Everyone's going to have a loss of traction. So, can I dart across? No, I'm not going to... Not going to... So it's going to be hard for everyone to keep all four wheels going in the right direction they want to. So that's my only bit of advantage. However, it's also my disadvantage because if I lose traction, like so, and the other cars haven't, it's going to scupper me a bit. There we go. Back, go back up. We're going to U-turn, go back on ourselves because none of the other cars are going to predict that. Hopefully he's double backflips or something, so he's screwed up more than I have. I don't think he has, though. Oh, okay, that was dodgy, I know. But it was my only way of sort of hoping that they do a mistake and that they, I can get a bit of a gap on them. Now, I'm going to take the right turning here, which is up here. Oh, my God. This snow is horrible. Absolutely horrific to control anything on. Oh, do I have a gap? I think I've got a gap. Perfect. Now I need to just get myself as far away as possible. And switch out of this. Uh, trying to think where I can go. Trying to think where I can go. I'm trying to make sure I don't hit any lampposts. Because obviously if they see a lamppost falling over or something. That is also a brilliant indication as to whereabouts I am. So the only problem is if I now switch out of my vehicle. It's going to be so easy for them to catch me. I'm just trying to think where I can go. But I don't think they've seen me. Unless... Oh, unless they have. Oh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Oh, I'm trying to think of where I can go. I'm trying to think of where I can go. I'm not out of zone, so it's all good. A futo, I just slide all over the place. If there's a... Yep, you know the vehicle. You know the vehicle. No, no, no. Oh! That's it. We'll take a Karen Sultan instead. I mean, it won't. It won't outpace. But it will keep me on the move and undetected, and that's the main thing. And yes, that jump worked. Whilst it screwed me over, it clearly screwed them guys over more, which is just what I wanted. That's a green light. I'm going to just go around him, because I'm not sticking around in that area for too long. <sighs> Heart in the mo mouth moment there. I didn't think I was going to lose them at any point, because... Like that white, I think it's a white cheetah classic was just sticking with me for ages. But I managed to just stay in front of him. Now obviously they now, the hunters have got a massive advantage because they're all in personalised vehicles still and obviously I'm stuck in just a Karen Sultan. Now if I can find a paint spray to nick into to zoop the car up a bit, put some boost on it, put a bit of turbo, make it quicker, I'm then in for an equal race, because Karen Sultans are bl bloody quick. 
um, and uh, I do tend to tend to sort of gravitate towards them. So I'm happy to sort of stick with it, basically stick with this um, stick with this car. Just basically, like I said, put a few engine upgrades on it, put a boost on it, get it a bit quicker. Basically, do all the whole, do the whole shebang on it. You know, I won't have to uh, personalize it. I mean, I could personalize it. Mm. I mean that would despawn my other vehicle. Actually saying that, what I will do actually. Actually, do I want to keep it in play? That's the only thing, because I could always run back to it, and if needs be, just then use it as my getaway vehicle. That's what I'm thinking. That's my only thinking behind it. Um, but if I make this my personalised vehicle, though, then I wouldn't get the cops on me because it's then my vehicle. Ooh, that is a shout. I don't know. I think, I think the obvious decision is to make this my personalised vehicle. I think that's the obvious decision to make. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just personalise this vehicle, make it my own. So, we're just going to pull in down here, and hopefully no one saw that. And uh, we're going to go in here. Now, I think the other reason why they didn't get out so... They, well, the, the hunters didn't get out of their cars so quick is because we've also got it on a free aim lobby. We're trying a free aim lobby. What that means is it won't automatically track onto someone. So they've, you've got to basically do all the aiming yourself. So yes, that's going to be tricky for myself, but it's also going to be tricky for them guys as well. So this is what I mean by all the engine upgrades. Um, uh, Respray, nice fire, and I'm happy with this. Uh, no, I don't want to do suspension. Turbo as well to make it nice and quick. Um, I am actually going to loss and death. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. It doesn't cost me lots, and plus it then despawns my other vehicle, so then they don't know. Therefore, have no information as to where I ditched my vehicle. And as this is my own now, this will be rather rapid. And uh, yeah, that that was a nice little getaway, I must say for myself. I've had a bit of a, you know, dodgy few moments in that, you know, where they did, you know, bash me and bang me around, but I, uh, I managed to <laughs> keep it together. The, the snow, like I said, even though it was an absolute pain in the ass for myself, it was also a pain in the ass for the hunters too, so it was like a 50-50 shared agony there, so... Okay, there's another vehicle, it's a Sparrow from the submarine, so hopefully... One should just, yeah, well, oh, two for safety. That's why I always like to make sure. Now, whilst we're just waiting and I don't see anyone around, Lester, we're just going to call you. Ah, if it isn't my creepy silent friend, and do cop center blind eye. Help? And then we're going to okay. make sure, wait for these traffic lights to go green, and then we'll go. And then we'll blow it up and we can get driving again. Now, the luck. Oh, I can't actually see it because that van. But we do know it is behind us. Come on! Ah, oh, you bastard. I mean, well, I mean, what? I didn't say that word at all. I'm trying to keep my channel PG, aren't I? There you go. Could see the explosion, so we're all good. Cool. So that is that car exploded. So now it should tell whichever hunter it is that the car has now been blown up. So I now need to get a speedy getaway on because I'm pretty sure they know what I look like now. So I need to make sure I get away from this region ASAP. Now they saw which one I went for, they saw me by Casino, and obviously I was over by Cypress Flats for the first one I got. Um, 4 p.m. end, so we've just got over four hours left, so we've, we've done well. I'm gonna go for the beach area now. That's where I think I'm gonna go for. I just need to take a left turn along here somewhere because we're going to use the highway again as a quick little getaway. Um, I mean, they could have a helicopter for all I know, but because you can't see anything in the snow, I highly doubt that they do. So, like that big moment where we had the chopper down over at the hairdresser's place, over at uh, Vespucci, Vespucci Beach uh, direction, I was pretty confident in knowing it wasn't one of them, even though it seemed like it was right above me. Um, because, obviously... Um... You know, if the you can't see anything in the snow, so I was, you know, pretty sure that it wouldn't be one of them. Okay, so we're good. We're now on the highway, and we can get a speedy, speedy move on. 
I want to try and get some tricky ones towards the end though, that's my only... Maybe I should go for... I'm trying to think which one to go for. Um... Oh, an impromptu race. I don't know if that... I don't know if that means someone is above or below me. Oh, I nearly T-boned that car. I think they were probably above me. And obviously, sometimes, even though it's so an impromptu race, which means there's a hunter near me, for the hunters, they could be with each other. So an impromptu race could just mean that it's each other, but they don't know that, obviously. And then, obviously, by the time they investigate the highway, I'm gone, aren't I? I'm long gone, so... Oh, someone left. He might have lagged out. Which car was his? Okay, well, let's just make a mental note. Which His was by the casino, so we don't have to worry about the casino one anymore. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better, so that's... I mean, that's all three cars to the right-hand side gone, though. That's the only annoying thing about it, but you don't matter, does it? I think Golf Course is probably the next one to go for. I think that's probably a good shout. Um, so, I think I'm going to take a right turn up here. <coughs> And uh, then, yeah, take a well, take a right through that lane, and then obviously another right here, and head towards the casino. No casino, the golf course car park. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw one on there, going to leave, then go up past it, and see if I can spot the car. Okay, okay, we're going this way apparently. Let's see if we can spot the car through the fence instead because it's not a, it's like a see-through fence basically you'll see in a minute basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure I get a speedy getaway on because I don't want to hang around in the area for too long because obviously in previous hunts I have I don't do an initial sort of zoom getaway because I like to try and make sure that I don't get spotted but it does mean I stay in the area a little bit longer than I would you know initially I want, want to basically um oh I completely forgot about snowballs basically what I said previously, which is the, probably they've all forgotten because everyone's trying to focus on driving, is they're not allowed to use snowballs in their cars. However, if they spot me and they know it's me 100% and they move on, they are allowed to then... Oh, flash of the reverse lights. They are then allowed to sort of lob snowballs at my car as we're all in the chase. Because they know it's me already, because otherwise a snowball, if you point at someone, it's like any other gun, it'll show a health bar, so it's a bit of an unfair advantage in a sense, so we'll stick with the rule of, you know, you can't, no one can shoot in a car, however, obviously, um, there's the, no, it's not the ramp buggy, however, if, um, they know it's me in a chase, they can then start using snowballs, because it's a bit of fun, isn't it, this is the snow, it's the whole reason of doing it, so, um, I'm going to turn right here, because that's the lane I want to be in, and, um, yeah, that's where we've got it. Otherwise, the weapons are allowed to use are just pistols again. They're allowed to use... Well, we've got a preset uh, set of guns are allowed to use. Whilst I've got a break, I can tell you all. They're allowed to use a just a vintage pistol, ceramic, what is just called a pistol, then a combat, and then an SNS pistol. Now, I think someone shot to deliberately freak out the AI. Probably means... But someone is in the whereabouts. Keep moving on, keep moving on. Don't spot that I'm here. Keep moving on, keep moving on, monster truck. That's it, move along. That's it, move along. Am I going to do a U turn? Because this, <laughs> this is really going to annoy the hunter if I then, within seconds of him being there, blow it up under his nose. But they're not allowed to camp their vehicles, but they are allowed to, at points, obviously go and um, investigate their vehicle. Like, basically check up on it. I mean, at this point, We've got just under two hours left, and they're probably thinking, he hasn't done much blowing up, what's he doing? So... No, you know, right to think that as well. Oh my God. So, we're looking for a camo Windsor. Oh shit. Well, that was uh, <laughs> a smooth brain bit of uh, driving there for myself. Oh. 
Now, whilst I drive around the block, I'm just going to call Lester again. Because, you know, I can't multitask. And, you know, since getting that new update with the, uh, the submarine, it means it takes longer for me to... Hey, what's going on? Oh, 46 seconds. Okay, that's alright. What we'll do is we're going to pull out of here. Remember, that's the C3 fence. So I can always see it from the other side of the C3 fence. So as long as I can just pull out of here and no one notices, we'll be good. I'm afraid not. 30 seconds. We can wait 30 seconds. Now, the reason why that car is beeping is because obviously... That's not going to work. You know, that car came in and sort of trampled along a couple of the... Uh, the vehicles so what we're going to do as well is because we can see the car just through the fence is we're going to just pull up on the side of the road just here no wait 10 seconds we're just going to wait here for 10 seconds sorry, you know there's no. nothing wrong with me being here and you know we can see the camera windsor Not now, through sorry. through the gates so no, sorry all right let's thank you i'm going to blow the vehicle up and we're going to start making a speedy getaway now i also have three minutes as well to go and blow up any other vehicles I would like. So it's a question of if I can make, get myself over to a certain location. Now obviously there is two in the canal region so they'll probably think I'm going to go there. I mean it's 4pm now. I might as, might as well go for it, might I? It's uh, no, not 4pm now. It's half an hour until 4pm. So what I might do is I might just see if I can speed along a little bit. Let's see if I can get myself one more car to blow up. Get four, get four vehicles. I mean, they're going to be spread out because they're thinking, where the hell has he gone? So, I mean, yes, you could say this approach play is dodgy. Because there's a vehicle that goes by. And there's a hunter investigating me. So, we're not even going to waste our time. We're just going to book it because, you know, we've got 15 GTA 5 minutes left before, obviously, time is up. So... Why would I risk it? Why would I be silly? Why would I be silly and waste my time? Oh, that's a lovely jump there. Oh, lovely. Oh, <laughs> bang in a crash for that car. And uh, is he gonna? Have nope. He's gone up the ramp. There we go. And it's four o'clock. There we go. We've done another one. We've survived 24 GTA 5 hours. Oh, that was a close little hunt there. But, you know, it's nice to have another victory. Didn't have to get into a firefight this time. Which is the nice thing. And, uh... But we did have a good little intense chase. When I mean by ex potential to blow something up, well, I mean, that didn't really work, did it? They... Oh, okay. I, I thought it could blow cars up. No, it can't. Okay, my bad. I got a bit, you know, overexcited then at the start, but it doesn't matter. It is still a great little hunt. And uh, another win. Oh, that was a good one. So, uh, second no vehicle restriction hunt. And uh, yeah, it went really well. So if you've enjoyed this no vehicle restriction episode, then do please uh, leave a like below. Also remember to comment as well with uh, well, just anything. I do like to read your comments. And uh, yeah, a, bit, a little bit of a different play today. Changed my vehicle, you know, got one off the street, zooped it up. Changed my colour as well and also went and visited the hairdressers. So <laughs> that was a first. But uh, yeah, uh, that's another great little hunt. Where are the hunters? Okay, I'm going to pause the map just to see where the hunters are. I mean, it's 4pm, isn't it? So it's time's up. Um, there's one coming that way, so I'm trying to see if they can spot me. There you go, there's one. Is I oh nearly got him, but there we go. That is it for the hunt. I survived till 4 p.m. and made sure I got the right time. And yeah, remember to leave a like and comment. There's the vehicle. <laughs> that was a good hunt. Right, thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode, you remember like, comment, subscribe, or mainly subscribe. And yeah, until next time, JDB Gaming, out of Monday.